ein Siegesfeuer machen. Quite right, Mr. Cox. Fireworks night. They're flaunting the blackout regulation, sir. Yeah, celebrating my 48-hour punishment. We'll see to that, sir. You'll see to what? You'll see to it that we're all made fools of once again. Will you move men in there to enforce blackout regulations? Jerry will have disappeared by the time you get there. He'll be laughing at us from every shadow. You better get a few more broken heads for the pennies. A bleeding crater lighting up the sky asking for a raid, sir. Look, there's never been a raid within a hundred miles of this desolate chicken farm, Sergeant Major. Only alerts. I mean, why bomb this? This understaffed, ill-manned outpost of military mediocrities. Thank you, Mr. Oh, they, um, uh, make some transport arrangements for our Captain Connor coming up from London tomorrow. The details are in the order. Yes, sir. You finish the game, Mr. Wall? As you like, sir. Too far. I'm damned if I know what Whitehall expects. Don't move too aggressively. Thousands of our chaps in German prison of war camps, and I quite agree. But can't you maintain order there, Major Perry? When I asked for troop reinforcements, they sent me a single Captain Connor from military intelligence. Let him have a look at the matter. I mean, oh dear, oh dear. Mit diesen Uniformen seht ihr aus wie die königliche Garde. Keiner wird euch hier draußen anhalten. Blicken. Blicken. Breitschwanz. It's our Scottish contact. You'll be waiting for Hochbauer and Schmidt on the Glencore Road. Gut. B für Berlin. B für Berlin für Ausbruch. Na? Und was sagt Berlin? Englisch. It wasn't Berlin. It was a friend here in Scotland. And he agrees to an earlier meeting with you. Let's raise the little hell when Perry tries to put on the handcuffs and you can march straight off and join the British Army. <laughs> 